Welcome back to Little People Big Dreams. I'm Lori. Thank you so much for coming back to join me again. Well, so today, Lori, I'm going to introduce you to someone that is so amazing. She has done many, 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 many. Did I say many? Yeah, many firsts in her life. And you know what? She isn't gonna stop anytime soon. And that is a great thing. And first of all, Lori's gonna wish everyone a happy Black History Month. Yeah, did you know that? This month and every year on February is Black History Month. It is an annual recognition of all the achievements that African Americans have made. And it is also a crucial month to recognize their central role in the U.S. history. So my dreamers, Lori is going to introduce you guys to a very, very special and brave woman for Black History Month. And that is... <laughs> Camilla Harris! So as a child, little Camilla marched for civil rights with her parents. She was encouraged to fight for justice and to make a difference in the world. From her career as a lawyer, to her time spent as a U.S. Senator, to her historic election to the White House as Vice President, Kamala has lived a life of first, but she's determined that she will not be the last. Okay, dreamers, let's go meet this amazing, awesome woman, shall we? Okay, let's go. Dreams, Kamala Harris, written by Maria Isabella Sanchez Vergara, illustrated by Lauren Simmer. Kamala was a Californian girl whose mom came from India and dad came from Jamaica. They fell in love at a civil rights march and kept marching as a family, with Kamala next to her sister Stroller. See little Kamala? So cute. And this is her little sister. They're all going on the civil rights march. Kamala's mother raised her and her sister to be young, gifted black women who were proud of their Indian heritage as well. Every day, they took a school bus to a faraway neighborhood. It was a long ride, but it gave them the chance to make new friends. Look at Kamala and her sister and all the different new friends that they made thanks to the school bus. Let's see what happened next. The best thing about visiting India was trying her family's tasty recipes and having long walks with her grandfather and his friends. Look, it's the grandfather Kamala. They talked about justice and equal rights, two principles she shared and she will share for the rest of her life. While living in Canada, she found out that her friend Wanda's stepfather didn't treat her well. Kamala asked Wanda to live with her family. From that moment on, she had a dream to become a lawyer so she could help more people in need. What a kind gesture Kamala has made with her friend Wanda. Now, thanks to Kamala, Wanda can be in a safe space in their home. Kamala attended Howard, a historically black college, at a time when a whole new world of possibilities was opening up for women and people of color. She felt like she could do anything and everything. Yes, you see, this is Howard University, a historically black college. And here's Kamala with the rest of her classmates, writing up signs for the people. She finally earned a law degree and became a prosecutor, trained to get the truth out of witnesses and defendants. It was her duty to make sure that everybody, especially the most vulnerable, was protected by justice. Here's Kamala being a prosecutor, and she always protected the most vulnerable in the community. What a great soul. 
Yet Kamala knew her work could be useful beyond court walls too. That's right. So she became the first person of color to be elected as San Francisco's district attorney, as chief law officer. Wow, that is amazing! Look at Kamala taking her oath. She ensured that laws were enforced across the whole county. Hooray! The day she ran for attorney general, her aunt in India lined up a hundred eight coconuts to wish her good luck. A hundred and eight coconuts, do you see? All around, not one missing. Never before had a woman achieved such a position in California. But Kamala knew that others would follow. Let's see if her dream came true. Hooray! After a long career in justice, Kamala's dream of helping others wasn't over. She wanted to serve people in a brand new way. She was a senator when she entered the race to be the next presidential candidate. That's right, you heard it right, Kamala Harris for the people. You see all these signs? Yes, Kamala Harris. After a long career in justice, her dream was to help others and many and many more than many. Many years on, let's go see where this dream leads her, shall we? Kamala and all of the other candidates were beaten by Joe Biden, Mr. Joe Biden. Still, when he asked her to be his running mate in the election for the United States presidency, yes, the United States presidency, she felt thrilled. She was so honored to be asked. They weren't rivals anymore, but a team of two. See, a team of two: Mr. Joe Biden and Miss Kamala Harris. And look. Look at all the people following. All different shades and colors and backgrounds and religions, all holding up the signs. Biden and Harris. What a good team! Let's go see if we make history happen. All around the world, people celebrated Kamala and Joe's victory. Above all, two little villages in the north of Jamaica and the south of India, there were reggaetons and fireworks to honor her roots and wish her the best. So they have won, and not just them as two teammates, but they have won for all people of color. She was the first woman of color to serve as vice president and the highest elected Asian American ever. Doug, her husband, stood next to her, proud to be the first of many second gentlemen to come. There's President Joe Biden and the First Lady Jill Biden, and this is Vice President Kamala Harris. And standing next to her of the many second gentlemen to come, but the first ever. Ever second gentleman Doug Emhoff. Wow, what a beautiful picture for the history books of the first of many, many firsts to come. As long as she keeps serving those who need her, there will be a place in history for little Camilla. Remember the girl who dreamed of being the first to do many things, but always made sure she wasn't the last. And that's right. Sitting here now is Vice President Camilla Harris. The first women of color making history happen one day at a time. And look at all these kids with all different backgrounds and different shades of color of skin and all of their dreams combined. So the little Camilla from far, far ago had a dream of being the first to do many things, and she has. And she will keep on going. And her legacy will trickle down. To all the next generations and generation and generations to come. Wow, that was such an inspirational story of such a groundbreaking politician, wasn't it? And like we have read, ever since Camilla was a little girl, she has always stood up for justice. She has always stood up for what she thought was right for the people, and she continues to do that till this day. So, living a life of first, Camilla Harris is. Is determined, super determined, that others will follow in her footsteps as well. So not long ago, Camilla Harris.
Harris was the first female, the first African American, and the first Asian American to be Vice President of the United States of America. Wow, that is a huge, huge first of many achievements. And did you know that? Little Camilla, now known as Vice President Harris, has adapted to a vegan diet. Yes, she has adopted the vegan lifestyle so that she can make more positive changes for the world and for our future generations. That is just so inspirational. So you see my dreamers, once the little Camilla was holding up signs with her parents in civil rights marches, now has become become the first ever female vice president of the United States of America. So Camilla Harris is a true testament of someone that is making a difference for the people, not against the people. She is truly a leader and hopes to make more differences in the world, which Lori believes that she will continue to do for years and years and years and on. So my dreamers, you see, you might just be the next Camilla Harris. So don't give up on your dreams, okay? Keep dreaming.